Joel, as we mark one year since the surprise Hamas terrorist attack on Israel, killing about 1,200 mostly civilians and leaving that region forever changed, families of Israeli hostages held in Gaza sounded a siren for two minutes today outside Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's home, urging him to bring back their loved ones. 250 were taken hostage one year ago. About 100 are still missing, and that includes North Carolina native Keith Siegel. The 64-year-old was taken from his home in Israel along with his wife, Aviva, who was later released as part of a ceasefire deal. Siegel's family now fighting every day to bring him home. His brother sharing this message to the Israeli government. Our message is that Keith and the other hostages coming home needs to be the priority for the Israeli government. We want Prime Minister Netanyahu, as the leader in Israel, to put bringing the hostages home at the top of the list of what they will accomplish. A rabbi in the triangle also talking to Eyewitness News about the last 12 months and the surge in anti-Semitism. The Jewish community in many ways has been captive in Gaza, and still is. After October 7th, the Jewish community in many ways needed people to stand up um, with them, and, um, and a lot of people have been feeling very abandoned and very alone. And October 7th has given rise and voice to a lot of anti-Semitism. Rabbi Graber says on this grim anniversary, he wants people to remember that the United States' alliance with Israel is very important for democracy. And he points out every place of worship should be a safe place in this country.